today we're going to be discussing the structure and function of the respiratory system. In particular, we're going to visualize how the muscles of the body allow us to breathe. In order to picture this, I want everyone to find a comfortable seated position and close their eyes. You're going to keep your eyes closed throughout the entire video until we ask you to open them back up. Take nice, slow breaths, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Feel your lungs filling up with air as you breathe in and feel that air leaving your lungs as you breathe out. Each time you breathe in, you're taking in fresh oxygen from the air around you. Each time you breathe out, you're releasing a waste product called carbon dioxide out of your lungs. Breathe in, getting that fresh oxygen and breathe out, moving that carbon dioxide out of your body. Muscles of your chest are responsible for inspiration when you breathe air in. Notice each time as you breathe in that your chest is raising up and moving outward. This movement is due to muscles between your ribs called the external intercostals. Breathe in again and feel those external intercostals contracting moving your chest wall up and out. Another muscle that helps you to inspire and breathe is called the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle between your chest, referred to by doctors as the thorax, and your belly, which we call the abdomen. With your eyes still closed, place your hand over the top part of your belly. With that hand placed gently on your belly, I want you to take a nice breath in and feel your belly expand. This happens because your diaphragm is contracting. When the diaphragm contracts, it flattens into your belly, pushing the contents of your belly out and expanding it. Breathe in again, feel the diaphragm flattening and increasing the pressure in your belly. Both your external intercostals and your diaphragm contract each time you breathe in. Inspire and feel the chest moving up and out. At the same time, your diaphragm is lowering. You inspire again and the chest wall moves up and out while your belly tightens due to the contraction of the diaphragm. It's much easier for you to exhale when you're at rest. With your eyes still closed, I want you to breathe in deeply and let all of your muscles relax. As you relax, your lungs will naturally go back to a resting position. This process of breathing out called expiration is passive, meaning we don't have to use any energy. All you have to do is relax your muscles, letting the air flow out of your body. Your lungs are like an inflated balloon that you haven't tied off. You let go of the balloon and the air is going to naturally pass out of the body. So breathe in again, contracting those external intercostals and diaphragm, and breathe out, letting those muscles relax. You did a great job of visualizing the process of breathing. Let's all open our eyes and learn some more about the lungs.